Dear brothers and sisters, happy the man who fears the Lord and his commandments. If we like to describe the personality, vocation the, of St. Vincent de Paul, this is the sentence we can use. He was happy. He has been proclaimed saint because he feared the Lord. He believed in his commandments. He kept them, as St. Paul says. He finished the race and kept the faith till the end. No need here to repeat his biography, his curriculum vitae, because all of you living in this parish, you know this uh, person better than me. What I want to share with you today is uh, obviously while expressing my best wishes and prayers for your parish feast, I want to, to tell you a story that your parish priest, Father Eugene, tried to invite me for this feast, I think already in 2019, before COVID. And uh, always something happened. Then once I was also in Vietnam because uh, I have not only Singapore as my responsibility, but I travel very often to Vietnam, where is very big Catholic community, about 10 million Catholics, 27 dioceses, 27 bishops. So a big country, but I cover it uh, from Singapore. So my office is here, my residence here, but uh, my job basically is in Vietnam. And today I'm very happy to be with you and grateful to Father uh, Eugene, your parish priest, Father Andrew, uh, to your pastoral council uh, for your kind invitation. We celebrate together today this great saint in the church, St. Vincent de Paul. The Lord said to his disciples, as we have heard, the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. All of us, in our own ways, we are called to be laborers in, a vine in the vineyard of the Lord. The vineyard could be in our home, in the office, in church, or in society. Wherever we are, there is the responsibility to cure all kindness of diseases and sickness. You know this very well. The vocation of each of us is to proclaim the good news, to be the witnesses of Jesus Christ. And that means to imitate him in prayer, but also in action, taking care of those who need us. This was what St. Vincent de Paul wrote. I quote, so our vocation is to go, not just to one parish, not just to one diocese, but all over the world. And to do what? to set people's hearts on fire, to do what the Son of God did. He came to set the world on fire in order to inflame it with his love." End of the quote. Beautiful words, eh? very deep theological, moral meaning, also invitation and indication to us how to live our faith how to be good Catholic, good Christians, to inflame the whole world with the love of God, to imitate Jesus in our actions. Before we can serve the poor in Christ, like St. Vincent de Paul, we must put God and Christ, his son, as the first, at the first place in our lives. Like what the saint said, if God is the center of your life, no words are necessary. Your mere presence will touch hearts. Without being filled 
with the love of Christ, our service would be compromised by our unconscious desire for recognition, power, and glory. And this is the big difference between many charitable organizations or ONGs or any, any group of people and Christians. We do love, we help the poor refugees. By the way, today is the International Day of Migrants and Refugees and uh, internally displaced people. We help them, we sacrifice our time, our money, sometimes our health and life, not because we seek the glory of this world. We love them, we help them because Jesus loved them, because we believe in God, because we have faith, we consider them our brothers and sisters. These are the reasons of the action of the whole church. And without Christ, obviously, we can do nothing. So we, our action, our um, help comes from our faith, not opposite. What better way to immerse ourselves in God and place him in our center of our lives, if not through the most holy Eucharist? As mentioned in the Catechism of the Catholic Church and also in the traditional teaching magisterium of the Church, the Eucharist is the source and summit of the Christian life. And in that same Eucharist, is the culmination of God's saving action in Jesus. So we celebrate our parish feast during the Mass. We attend the Mass, not only attend, we participate in the Eucharistic sacrifice, we receive the body of Christ because this is the perfect expression of the life of the Church and our own lives and faith. The Eucharist is essential for us. It is Christ who wishes to enter our lives and fill us with his grace. Our most intimate moment with Jesus is when we receive Jesus Christ in Holy Communion. We receive him into our very bodies. We could not be closer with Jesus than this. We are one.